The following is a special presentation from the WTNS Sports Department. It's now time for high school basketball here on the Sports Voice of East Central Ohio, WTNS. Coming up, we'll have all the information on the pregame show. Plus, coming up, Coach's Corner with WTNS sports announcer Steve Corey. It's right here on the Sports Voice of East Central Ohio, WTNS. If you own a farm, you know that a one-size-fits-all insurance policy isn't a smart way to do business. I'm John Ionello, your American National Insurance Agent in Coshocton, Holmes, and surrounding counties. American National can provide you with a flexible farm package that allows you to customize a policy to match your individual needs. Call me at 740-295-9460. Because while you know your business, we know how to help insure it. This is Jamie from the Coshocton Coffee Connection. Did you know that we serve breakfast sandwiches all day, every day? Our made-to-order breakfast sandwiches include a fresh egg, melted cheese, and your choice of biscuit, bagel, croissant, or my favorite, onion flatbread. Next, choose from sausage or locally purchased bacon. Enjoy that same bacon for lunch on our BLTs, grilled cheese, and turkey bacon clubs. Pair any of our sandwiches with a hot, made fresh daily bowl of soup. Let us complete your order by making you a specialty coffee or tea. Stop by and see us at the Coshocton Coffee Connection. Coach's Corner is brought to you by the Inslee Insurance Agency. For auto, home, business, and life insurance, call 740-622-1111. That's the Inslee Insurance Agency, 433 Walnut Street, Coshocton. The Inslee Agency is proud to be a part of this high school sports broadcast. We support the student athletes on the team and the students in all extracurricular activities. Hi, I'm Todd Inslee. In fact, your good student may qualify for discounted auto insurance rates. We can provide you with homeowner's insurance and life insurance from Auto Owners Insurance. Insure both of us and save even more. For a no-obligation quote on auto, homeowner's, or life insurance from Auto Owners Insurance, call the Inslee Agency at 622-1111. My guest on Coach's Corner, Jamie Helder, the head coach of the Coshocton Redskins. Redskins come in with a record of 4-7. and seven. Uh, the, the thing I wanted to talk about was the mo- basically that would seem like a month shutdown between getting back, getting a game, or getting actually three games, how that's played out for you. Yeah, I think that we, we was off from December 29th till we played last week against Maysville, I think was the first one back. And, uh, it, it was hard. I mean, the kids were pretty hungry and anxious to get back. And, uh, it, it's hard when you're away that long. You lose a little bit of your conditioning and getting getting back focused. And you know, it's uh, frustrating for me as a coach because I had scouting reports prepared and I'm ready. And now all of a sudden those got to get put on the shelf and we're playing somebody else. And I got to go to another scouting report. And it it was a lot of discombobulation there for a little while. And uh, we got we're back in the mode of play. And of course, it's NBA schedule now, three games a week for the rest of the way out. Well, you know, I did. I want to discuss that as well. You if you just come off three games, got to win, and then two tough losses. And you know, that's the one thing. I, another thing I wanted to discuss a little bit. You know, you've been there on all your ball games on the losses, and it just seems like you just got to get over that hump, and uh, wins will come. Yeah, we we've uh, got seven losses, and all of them are single digits, and. You know, we played Meadowbrook, probably the, if not the best team in the league, the second best team in the league, and uh, got a really good player in Singleton. But you know, we had our chances down there and lost by three. But uh, happy with the grit the kids have and, and how hard they compete and how hard they play. And uh, it's just a matter of uh, being able to finish one coups. You know, to make a free throw when you need to make one, or get a steal when you need to get a steal, or rebound when you need to rebound. And right now, we're just we're missing about that one percent of the game that is killing us. And, down at Meadowbrook, we had two turnovers in that last three minutes. It really, really hurt. Uh, it, it's a frustrating thing, but you know, if, if things just click right, you know, the Maysville game, for example, things went right. We made free throws and, and was able to seal that deal. So uh, we're right there, man, and pretty excited about all that. We just got to finish one. 
All right, now it's New Lex, a team you played, I believe, a week ago Friday night, uh, the team that you're obviously familiar with. Uh, what can you tell us? Yeah, we had them on Saturday night after the Maysville game, and obviously we had spent a lot of energy on Friday night. And uh, we only had one bus to go down there, so my varsity kids had to ride the bus down at 3 o'clock leave and sit around till they play at 7.30 and eat pizza and popcorn and all that crazy stuff that kids do, you know. Um, so we, we got down, we battled back. I think third quarter probably was up by four or six at one point in time, but just ran out of gas, man, down the stretch, and they were able to knock down a couple shots and make a couple free throws. And, they sealed it by five, if I remember right. All right, keys tonight. What do you need to do to get out of here with a win? Uh, Rattler's a really good player. They 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 rely on the three ball a lot, so we've got to be able to contest the three ball. And you know, with us, the keys are never going to change for us. And we, we have to shoot it well. We've got to compete on the backboard. If we can hold our own or or win the backboard, that usually is good for us. And I tell the kids all the time, the free throw line is critical because we're in every game we're going to play is going to be a three or five point game. I think and. Free throws have got to go in the hole, and that usually makes a difference. All right, last question. I almost hesitate to ask health of the ball club. Where are we? We, we had to do some COVID testing again here this week, and everybody come back negative, so we're good that way. You know, we got our normal bumps and bruises in a, you know, a kid that's got a little bit of a uh, blister situation, and, yeah, I think it's getting worked out. And um, You know, we haven't had, knock on wood, buddy, we haven't had any major issues, but uh, I think overall we're pretty good. All right, that's head coach Jamie Helder. Good luck here tonight. Thank you, Coos. All right, we'll be back with the pregame. This is high school basketball on WTNS. Kashan. Coach's Corner has been brought to you by the Inslee Insurance Agency, 433 Walnut Street in Kashatin. Call the Inslee Insurance Agency at 740-622-1111 or go to InsleeAgency.com. Given Dawson Paisley Funeral Home has been serving Coshocton area families for over 70 years. I'm Bill Given, and we are honored that so many of you have chosen Given Dawson Paisley. Our membership in Dignity Memorial Network allows us to offer services that no other funeral home can offer. Whether you are planning or in your time of need, Given Dawson Paisley Funeral Home would be honored to serve your family now and in the future. Coshocton Dentistry offers professional, state-of-the-art dental care in a small-town practice. Doctors Brian Dunlap and Patrick Lopper and their entire team are dedicated to educating you with the help of digital technology to give personalized dental care that you deserve. Their goal is to simply help their patients keep all their teeth for a lifetime in maximum comfort, function, and aesthetics. Coshocton Dentistry is currently accepting new patients. To schedule your appointment with the local professionals at Coshocton Dentistry, give them a call at 740-622-5774 or stop by 448 Main Street in Coshocton. Visit their website, coshoctondentistry.com. Do you need health care without the wait? Muskingum Valley Health Center's Urgent Care is now open to serve all residents in Coshocton and surrounding counties. From feeling under the weather to a sprained ankle, MVHC Urgent Care is here for all of your urgent health care needs. Simply walk in and be seen seven days a week at the new MVHC Urgent Care located at 235 Kenwood Drive in Coshocton, directly across from Jeff Drennan Ford. MVHC Urgent Care, health care without the wait. I'm Stacy Rice from Coshocton Collision Center. Winter driving can be hazardous, so be careful when you drive and the weather turns bad. If you have an accident, come to Coshocton Collision Center. We use the latest environmentally friendly paint products from PPG. We put you the customer first by using these products to preserve our environment. We complete auto body repairs as promised, offer free computerized estimates, and guarantee our work. For all your body repair needs, come to Coshocton Collision Center, 225 Main Street in Town Center, Coshocton, across from Wilson's Carpet and Furniture, or call 623-7347. And hello, everyone. I'm Steve Corys, along with Chris Wallace, and we're at the Wigwam. It's Coshocton and New Lexington here this evening, taking a look at the New Lexington comes in with a record of 10-6 uh, and six on the season. They're 5-5 five and five in league play. Coshocton comes in with a record of 4-7. and seven. They're 3-5 and five in league play. Taking a look at games around the area tonight. Riverview and Philo, first off, has been postponed until tomorrow night. 
Tri-Valley is at Sheridan. That should be a big ball game. Newcomerstown is at Buckeye Trail. Maysville down at John Glenn. Meadowbrooks at Crooksville. West Muskingum at Morgan. Dover's at New Philly in a big ball game. East Canton at Malvern. Strasburg at Tusky Central Catholic. Garraway at Claymont. Indian Valley goes to Highland. Sandy Valley will visit Tusky Valley. Taking quickly looking at the IVC standings uh, try in the upper division, Tri-Valley leads the way at 9-0. Sheridan is 7-3. John Glenn 7-3. Riverview 6-5. Maysville 6-5. Philo 2-8. Small division, Meadowbrook leads the way at 9-1. New Lex 5-5. West Muskingum 4-5. Coshocton 3-5. Morgan 2-9. And, and Crooksville 0-11. And we'll be back and get to the starting lineups. This is high school boys basketball on WTNS. Coshocton. At Village Motors, we take great pride in our product, and we have two new models in stock that we're very excited about. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and the full-size Ford Bronco has finally arrived. It is built Ford tough, and it just screams Bronco when you look at it. The Jeep Wrangler will now have a great competitor for years to come. It is the real deal, and you need to see it and drive it for yourself. Also, the Grand Cherokee Extended Length L model has arrived. The first third seat option for the Grand Cherokee, it combines luxury and off-road capability with the ability to to carry seven passengers. Stop out soon to see the Bronco and the Grand Cherokee L at Village Motors in Millersburg. If you're looking for more insulation, then stop by MRV Siding Supply for top-rated Bywinco windows. Bywinco offers black windows carrying more argon gas, which gives you 30% more insulation value. Bywinco windows also have standard double strength, increasing noise reduction. That's MRV Siding Supply in Millersburg, Newark, and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Call 800-524-7436. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. Coshocton Opportunity School has the highest graduation rate out of 86 similar programs in the state of Ohio and is rated as exceeds standards in all areas of graduation. They have a combined administrative experience of 55 years and combined teaching experience of 127 years. They offer a state-required core curriculum, a career-based instruction program, and several electives including art, life skills, parenting, and relationship building. Please call 740-622-3600 if you are interested in applying. The Warehouse Tech and Sign, the home of the legendary Onion Rings, would like to wish success to all area sports teams this year. The Warehouse is the place to go before and after the game. The kitchen is open until 11 p.m. every Friday and Saturday night. The Lock is the place to go on weekends to watch the Buckeyes or your favorite NFL team with seven TVs and a variety of food specials. Call 740-622-4001 or go to www.warehousesteakandstein.com. Life is full of uncertainties. What happens to your assets after you pass away shouldn't be one of them. At Raymond James Financial Services, we offer a transfer on death agreement that allows your estate to be held in a brokerage account, so it avoids the probate process and goes directly to your heirs. To find out how to make things easier for your loved ones, call financial advisor Shane Pyle at 622-3110, located in Coshocton. Raymond James Financial Services, member FINRA CIFIC. Life well planned. To the Wigwam at Coshocton High School. The starting lineups are brought to you by R.J. Wright & Sons, a locally owned family business offering a full line of ag diesel, lubricants, and gasoline. You can't go wrong with the right fuel. Starting off with the visiting New Lexington. At a guard position, a 5'10 freshman, number five, Isaiah Stevens. At another guard position, a 5'11 junior, number 10, Isaac Dick. The other guard is a 6'2 junior, number 11, Lucas Ratliff. At the forward position, a 6'2 senior, number 12, Hunter Kellogg. And at the other guard position, a 6'1 junior, number 23, Ryan Hobbs. Now for the home team in tonight's contest, the Coshocton Redskins. At a guard position, a 5'11 senior, number zero, Zach Jennings. Another guard is a 6'2 senior, number one, Jacob Lonsberry. The third guard is a 5'10 freshman, number two, Colton Conkle. At the forward positions, we have a 6'3 senior, number 23, Alec Lopper. And the other forward is a 6'3 senior, number 30, Abe Jarvis. The starting lineups have been brought to you by R.J. Wright & Sons, an industry leader in providing complete residential and commercial fuel needs. R.J. Wright & Sons has locations in New Comerstown, New Philadelphia, and Caldwell. 
in the ball game coming up it'll be Coshocton four and seven New Lexington comes in with a record of 10 and six overall both teams huddled around the coaches we're just about ready to get things underway now Coshocton breaks out of the huddle they're now heading out to the scorers table And now we're ready to go. Jumping will be Lonsberry. And he'll be jumping up against Ratliff. And the ball is in the air, and we're underway. Tip controlled by New Lexington with the basketball. is going to be Isaiah Stevens. Crosses the timeline, works to the left side, down to, towards the lane, skips it back out to Hobbs. Trying to force his way inside, but no call. Now they push it out front. With the basketball is Ratliff. Penetrates, dumps it out in the corner. Three ball on the wing. Back iron, no good. Rebounds Stevens. He'll back it out. Gets it down low into the post to Kellogg. Kellogg trying to force his way in against Conkle. Little jump hook on the rim and in. So Hunter Kellogg gets the first basket of the ball game. 2-0. Jennings heads down the floor. With the basketball on the left side, Lonsbury. Lonsbury. Dribbles to the center of the floor. Now dumps it down low to Conkle. Conkle on the wing. Penetrates. Now backs it out. Conkle to the foul line. Kicks it to Jennings. Jennings backs it out, and he'll reset the offense. 7.08 to play first quarter. With the ball, Lopper now to Jarvis. Jarvis taking a look. Now in trouble, but gets it over to Lonsbury on the left wing. Picks up his dribble to Jennings. Now reset again. 6.55. Play in the opening quarter. 2-0. New Lex with the early lead. Lonsbury dribbles to the left wing, back out front to Lopper. Lopper looking, looking, still dribbling out to top of the key, almost lost it, but hands it to Conkle. Conkle off the dribble, was all the way down, little floater on the rim, no good. Ball rebound, comes down to Ryan Hobbs. Hobbs gets the basketball to Isaiah Stevens. He'll bring it across the timeline, penetrates all the way to inside, dumps it down low, puts the shot up, missing the shot inside. It's Kellogg. Skip pass out for three and banging it home is Lucas Ratliff. He's their leading scorer. Five to nothing. Ratliff comes in, averaging around 18 a game. So with the basketball is going to be Kashockton. Jennings goes left wing. Lonsbury off the dribble. Works it on to the right side, right wing to Lopper. Lopper tries to get into the foul lane, steps back and gives it to Jarvis. Jarvis will reset. Jarvis goes right wing to Jennings. Zach Jennings will set things up. Still dribbling. As the basketball goes, foul line extended to Jarvis. Dumps it down to Lopper. Lopper gets rid of it to Conkle. Conkle hands it to Jarvis. Picks up his dribble. Now dumps it to Conkle at the foul line. Conkle back inside. Almost lost it. Jarvis or Lonsbury puts shot up. Missed it. Rebound Hobbs. Hobbs rebounds. Gives to Ratliff. Ratliff brings it across the timeline. 5 0 the score. New Lex has it. Trying to penetrate all the way to the hoop. Throwing up a runner is no good. Rebound. It comes down to Jarvis. Shot was missed by Ratliff. Out front, Jarvis. He travels. So, first turnover of the ball game goes to Kashockton. Still 5 0. 5 12 play just underway from Kashockton. New Lex will bring triggered in with the basketball will be Isaiah Stevens. Stevens brings it up, gets the basketball to Kellogg. Kellogg to Hobbs. Hobbs looks inside, nothing there. Now goes skip side to Stevens. Now trying to force it down low to get it to Kellogg. Back out. Hobbs with a three ball and he hits it. So big quick start by New Lexington. Eight nothing here. 4:45 to play in the opening quarter. All the way to hoops. Jennings little fade away. That's going to be no good. Hobbs rebounds again. Gives the basketball up to Ratliff. Ratliff into the corner. It goes to Kellogg. Kind of power inside. Now he goes out once again. Hobbs another three ball. And once again he buries it. Boy, uh, so big quick start for New Lexington. They hit three threes early. The, Shockton gets a timeout, and we'll keep it right here. The Warehouse Stakenstein is proud to sponsor tonight's player of the game. Tonight's player of the game will receive a gift certificate for a famous Warehouse cheeseburger and order the legendary onion rings. This is courtesy of Warehouse Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. Fast start. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, very fast-paced. New Lex. Um, haven't seen them since the first game of the season that we did, but they uh, 
they've really improved over the season, has 10 wins, and they're really playing some defense here tonight, making it really tough for Coshocton to get any kind of entry pass. Uh, Coshocton not really looking to get any post entries at this point, but really just making it hard to pass on the wing or really anywhere. It's pretty tight defense, and of course when they're hitting just about every shot they're shooting down here, especially from beyond the arc, it makes things go pretty well as that 11-0 start here for New Lex. 11 to nothing to score, and that's if you're New Lexington, you go on the road and you can get a big lead like this early, makes things a lot more easy. So with the basketball is Kishockton. Jennings will bring it across the timeline. Goes right wing to Conkle. Conkle out front to Wesney, who checked in, gives the ball to Jennings. Jennings. Off the dribble, penetrates foul line, skip past Lonsbury. He's going to let a three ball go. He missed it, but Conkle rebounds the basketball. Gives it to Wesney, trying to power inside. Throws up a shot, got it, and he's fouled. So off the bench as Hudson Wesney gets the first Kashocton basket, draws a foul as well. Makes it 11 to 2. I'll tell you, getting Wesney in there really gives him some post presence and really gives Kashocton the opportunity to look down low. And a great job by Wesney with a, it was a fade away, but really got lucky and it went in. First throw on the way, rolls around and in. Wesney with the first three for Coshocton, 11-3. 3.59 to play here in the opening quarter. With the basketball is going to be Isaac Dick. Brings it across the timeline to Hobbs. Hobbs looking for cutters. Now gives the basketball out wide open, triple on the way. Back iron no good by Kellogg and rebound to Conkle. Conkle to Lonsbury, coming quickly. Conkle gives it to, has the basketball, picks up his dribble, goes right side to Jarvis. Jarvis off the dribble, dumps it down low to Jennings. Little runner, got it. Zach Jennings gets a basket. Now five straight for Coshocton. It's now 11 to five. With a basketball is Ratliff. Ratliff backs it out, goes left side to Kellogg. Kellogg to Ratliff. Ratliff, top of the key. Now tries to get inside, jump shot on the way, got it. Lucas Ratliff with five points. And here comes Lonsbury, 13 to five with a basketball in the corners. Gonna be Jennings, Zach Jennings. Tries to get baseline, puts the shot on the rim and in. Nice move to the hoop by Jennings. He now has four points, 13 to seven. 2.55 to play opening quarter with a basketball out front. New Lexington now with the balls. Kellogg. Kellogg out front to Hobbs. Hobbs looking for cutters. Now goes over to the wing and with the basketball is Isaac Dick. Penetrates. Skips it over to Hobbs. Thought about it. Tries to get inside. Throws skip pass all the way to the wing. There's a three ball. And hitting that off the bench is Bentley Hansen. 4-3 here in the quarter. 16 to 3. Or 16 to 7. With a basketball, Conkle, little spin move all the way inside, has his man, didn't take it, but Jarvis will from three deep, he misses. Rebound comes down to Stevens for New Lexington. With a basketball is going to be Isaac Dick. Dick with a basketball, hands it out front to Hobbs. Hobbs works right wing. Looking, now he tries to get all the way to the basket, puts the runner up, missed it, got his own rebound. No, guys bounces up and comes to Conkle. Conkle will push it. Conkle picks up his dribble to Jarvis, thought about it, now backs up, looking, now skip, uh, goes over to Wesney. Wesney back to Jarvis, goes, dumps it inside, and it throws it away, and here's Isaac Dick coming, and he almost lost it, now has it down. Skip pass all the way over to wide open Ratliff, three ball, bang. Lucas Ratliff with eight here in the quarter, it's 19 to seven. Fast start for New Lexington. Jarvis out front, deep, long triple on the way, and he hits it. Abe Jarvis shooting up the lights out here early, 19 to 10, 114 to play in the opening quarter. With the basketball out front, it's going to be Kellogg. Kellogg to Hobbs. Now goes over, wide open three balls. Isaac Dick, he missed it back iron. Ball's batted away, but comes up. Inside, throwing the shot up, it's no good. Rebound comes down to Jennings. Shot was missed by Bentley Hansen. Quickly the other way, goes to Jarvis on the left wing. Out front to Wesney. Wesney trying to get to the basket. Little spin shot, that's missed and it's rebounded by Hobbs. Hobbs hands the ball to number 11, Lucas Ratliff, and he'll walk it down the floor with 35 seconds to go here in the first quarter. 
19 to 10, New Lexington with the early lead. Just working out in front of us right now. Isaac Dick goes over to Ratliff, down to 22 seconds. Isaac Dick picks it up, goes inside, and he went walking is going to be called on Bentley Hansen. Lost control momentarily and traveled, and getting in will be Lopper, and taking a break will be Jarvis. 16 seconds to play here in the opening quarter. 19 to 10, Coshocton with the last opportunity as we hit the 10 second mark. And the ball to Lonsbury, Lonsbury to Lopper. Lopper steps back, gives it to Lonsbury. Lonsbury shot at the buzzer, no good, and we've played one quarter. After one, it's New Lexington 19, Coshocton 10. We'll be back. This is high school basketball on WTNS, Coshocton. This guy has a mattress on the roof of his car. She's putting on makeup while she's driving. Turn signals, people. It's not you, it's them. But your independent insurance agent has you covered. They'll help you choose the Grange Auto coverage you want for your unique needs. You can't choose who's on the road, but you can choose the right protection for the way they drive. Call Albertson Insurance at 740-622-0572. Policy and coverage not available in all states. Start spring by beating the rush and stopping in to Jeff Drennan Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. This is General Sales Manager Craig Abner. We just received the hardest to find low mile vehicles between seventeen and $23,000. From SUVs to sedans, we have them all in your price range and they won't last long. We have the most desirable vehicles all in one location. So stop in for a good buy before interest rates increase. Also, if you have a vehicle with under 100,000 miles and are thinking about selling it, bring it down, let us buy it. Visit us online for your next vehicle at Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Coshocton.com. Nineteen to ten, New Lexington with a nine point first quarter lead. Coshocton will have it coming out. They get it into Wesney. Hand it to Lopper. Lopper in the corner, back out front. They'll work it and reset with Zach Jennings. Jennings dribbling out top of the circle, dribbles towards the left wing, gets to Lopper, steps into a three ball from deep and hits it. Alec Lopper with his first basket of the night makes it 19 13. Just underway in the second quarter. Isaiah Stevens across timeline, takes it all the way to the basket, puts up the shot, missed it, and rebound to Lonsbury, and he comes in a hurry. Lonsbury down the left side, gives it back to Jennings, back to Lonsbury, now to Jennings, at Wesney out top. Right wing with the basketball is Conkle. Conkle resets for the, for the Redskins, penetrates down inside, skip pass over in the corner to Jennings, steps into a three ball, bounces around, and off the rebound comes down to Conkle. That's the way, right there! And he's going to be fouled. And picking up that personal foul. We'll be on Braglin, who just checked in. So Coshocton will have it on the baseline, trailing 19-13. With the ball, Lopper back to Jarvis penetrating is Jennings. There's Lonsbury from the wing. That's Miss, no good. Rebound comes down to Hunter Kellogg for New Lex and bringing it, it gets it over to Ratliff. Ratliff off the dribble, doubled now back to the right side to Stevens. Into the corner it goes. Now just work the perimeter. Isaiah Stevens hesitates. And dribbles it out. No, they're going to say it was deflected by Coshocton. Hobbs getting back. Also, Isaac Dick getting back. Taking a break will be Lucas Ratliff. 6.41 in the second quarter, 19-13. New Lexington leading with a basketball out front. Is New Lex. And setting it up will be Isaiah Stevens high out near the timeline. Now working towards the left wing. Gets the ball over in the corner to Isaac Dick. Now they try to dump it inside to Hobbs. Hobbs has it deflected, and Conkle Steel goes after it. It'll be a jump ball, and New Lex will maintain possession. A good hustle play by Colton Conkle. It's a great hustle play by Colton Conkle getting on the floor. He's leading the Redskins with four rebounds here in the first half, two of them from the offensive end. Smallest guy in the court and a freshman. 
Stevens with the basketball out front, guarded by Lonsberry. Now spins into the lane, skips it down low, and has it stolen away by Conkle. Conkle brings it across the timeline, goes on the right wing. Conkle, left side, it goes to Jarvis. Jarvis out front to Jennings, penetrates all the way to the hoop, stops, little fade away on the rim, no good. There's Conkle with another rebound, and he dribbles it back out. Jarvis goes to the, to the hoop, throws it up in, and he's fouled. Abe Jarvis, Jarvis, nice move to the hoop, got the call, and he'll go at the line to shoot the back end of the shot. Yeah, great job by Abe Jarvis, really getting to the basket and finished with a lot of contact. <laughs> kind of just threw it up on the backboard and went in, and nicely done by Abe Jarvis. 19-15 now, all of a sudden, just a four-point game. Lonsbury will take a break as Wesney gets back in. So Abe Jarvis will try to finish off the three-point play the old-fashioned way. And he knocks it home. So Abe Jarvis with six here in the first half. 19-16, 5.50 to play in the opening half. With the basketball, Hobbs gives it over to Isaac Dick, trying to penetrate inside, has a shot blocked from behind. Here comes Conkle with the rebound. Conkle stops, skip pass to Wesney, powers it in, loses control. It'll be Kashokton basketball. Ball will be... Redskins boss, <laughs> Wesney, I think, thought it was off him. <laughs> he was heading the other way. But Jarvis will trigger in. Looking, looking. Dumps it down to Lopper, back to Jarvis. Now to Conkle, now to Jennings. Jennings will reset the offense. Zach Jennings getting the word from the coaches. 525 here in the first half. Jennings goes to Wesney. Wesney looking. Picks up his dribble, dumps to Jennings, goes baseline, stops, powers his way in, and gets it to go. Zach Jennings with six points, 19-18, all of a sudden a one-point game. Shockton right back in it with the basketball, Ratliff. Ratliff penetrates, cut off, out to Cobbs. Now they work outside to Isaac Dick. Dick picks it up, gives it to Kellogg, down wide open, Hobbs, he missed the layup. Wide open layup, Conkle rebounds it, and here comes Kashockton. With a basketball, Conkle skip pass over to Jennings. Jennings back out front. Jay Jarvis long triple. Back iron at no good. Rebound comes down to number 12, Hunter Kellogg, and gets it over to Isaac Dick. He'll walk it across the timeline. 4.34 to play in the opening quarter. Ratliff has it way outside. Just being doubled then. Now back guarded. They dump it inside to Isaac Dick. Little runner on the rim. Back iron no good. Conkle another rebound. He brings it himself. Right side it goes to Jarvis. Gets baseline. Bump. No call. Yet they will call it. And picking up that personal foul is going to be number 11, Lucas Ratliff. His first, team's fourth. I'll tell you what, there's Conkle on the boards there with uh, seven rebounds in the first half. Again, the, the freshman point guard out there doing a great job on the glass. So with the basketball, be Jarvis triggering in. Now he dumps it into Wesney, he runs it down and gets it over to Lonsberry. Lonsberry tries to get inside and loses it. Stolen by way by Hobbs. He gets the basketball and then now New Lex wants to talk about it. Be a 30 second timeout and we'll keep it right here. We certainly will and we'll let you know that this game is brought to you in part by Given Dawson Paisley Funeral Home where they offer their services with compassion, care, dignity and over 70 years of tradition. You can trust Given Dawson Paisley Funeral Home now and in the future. You know an 8-0 run for Coshocton here in the second quarter and they've cut the gap to 19-18. Yeah really brought it back here and I tell you, a great start by New Lexington to get the game going and really just firing on all cylinders with every shot going in and shooting extremely well from beyond the arc there. But Kashokton's done a great job uh, sitting down, playing some defense, kind of settling in a little bit, playing some defense and, and getting a few steals there. Uh, you know, three turnovers for Kashokton, two turnovers for New Lexington. But Kashokton, some of those sh shots starting to fall and, and, again, not really working the ball around the perimeter as much as trying to get inside and get some good looks and some layups. Kashokton doing a, a much better job here offensively. All right, it'll be New Lexington ball on the far sideline when we resume action. Bentley Hansen will trigger in. With the basketball, it's going to be Isaac Dick, and he'll slowly bring it across the timeline, guard it out front. Looks like they want to try to trap, and he stepped on the line. It's over and back. Turnover number three for New Lexington. Good job by Kashokton with the trap, and a turnover results. 
Yeah, nicely designed play out of the timeout for Kashokton. Just send that double team right to the point guard and a nice, nicely done. So with the basketball, Zach Jennings. Jennings walks it across the timeline to the right wing. Still dribbling to the right side. Looking out, well, he's wide open inside was Conkle, didn't see him, but Lopper takes a three ball, missed it, and rebounded by Ratliff. Ratliff will bring it himself, 19-18, 3.35 and a half. Ratliff out front, goes right side. Isaac Dick down into the corner to Hobbs. Hobbs back out front to Dick. Dick pays, penetrates all the way to the hoop. We got a foul out front on a reach. And I believe it's going to be on number two, Colton Conkle, his first, team's first. Checking back will be Isaiah Stevens, and Bentley Hansen will take a break for New Lexington. Stevens will trigger in, looking. High lob goes out to Kellogg. Kellogg down into the corner to Stevens. Stevens looked inside, now gives the basketball to Kellogg. Kellogg trying to power inside, skip pass out to Hobbs. Hobbs gives it to Ratliff. Ratliff from way downtown hits it. Lucas Ratliff has three threes here in the first half, has 11 points, 22-18. Jennings with a basketball. Jennings dribbles inside. A little scoop shot on the rim, missed it this time, and comes up to Ratliff. And he's coming with, well, didn't have numbers, so he backs it out, and we'll set it up for New Lexington. Skip pass all the way to the right side to Stevens. Trying to get inside, throws up a shot, and that's going to be a foul on Jarvis. So Stevens just does a good job of penetrating, and he'll go at the line to shoot a couple. New Lexington's first time to the free throw line in the ball game. Wesney getting ready to check back in on the second throw. Lefty's first toss is on the rim and in. First point for Isaiah Stevens. Now they've stretched it back out to five at 23-18. Second free throw is right through as well. So Stevens with a pair, and that makes it now 24-18. Jennings heads the other way. Jennings out front, goes to the left side to Lopper. Lopper off the dribble, gets in the lane, picks it up, goes to Conkle. Conkle dribbling out front. Now trying to penetrate, spin move, puts the shot on the rim and in. Colton Conkle with his first basket, just took him one-on-one -on -one in the lane, got it to go, 24-20. Stevens off the dribble, is bumped and fouled by Lopper. His first, team's third, and it'll be on the baseline for New Lexington. 24-20, New Lexington leads, 2.18 to play here in the opening half. They set it up to Hobbs. Hobbs has it out front, goes right side to Ratliff. Ratliff will back it out and reset it. Ratliff off the dribble, penetrates, skip pass over to Isaac Dick. Long triple, and he hit it. Isaac Dick with his first basket, 27-20. With the ball, Conkle, left wing to Lonsberry. Lonsbury off the dribble to Lopper out in the top of the key. Lopper off the dribble. Tries to penetrate inside, but it's cut off. Now a little fade away. In and out. No good. And Isaac Dick, re or no, rebound comes down to Hobbs. Hobbs gets it over to Ratliff. So seven point lead at 27 20. Kashokton had it to 19 18, but a nice little run here by New Lexington has opened it up to seven, and they have the basketball. Out front, left side it goes to Steve Law. The lefty throws up a three, no good. Rebound on the deck, comes up to Lopper. Lopper almost traveled. Gives the ball to Jennings. They'll set the offense with 1.18 to go here in the opening half. Zach Jennings dribbling out front, directing traffic as we're down to 1.10 here. Shockton spreading it out. Hands the ball to Lonsbury. Lonsbury dribbles towards the left wing to Wesney. Wesney tries to dump it down low, and it's going to be off of Lopper. And a turnover for Kashokton will be there fourth. And Jarvis will get back in. And Wesney will take a break. 57 seconds. Ball back over to New Lexington. Isaiah Stevens slowly across the timeline. 
Goes left wing to Hobbs. Hobbs looking now back to Stevens. Stevens guarded by Conkle. Now spins, tries to get all the way to the basket, puts shot up, missed it, rebound, has it, stolen it, out of bounds to Coshocton. Jarvis had it, had it deflected out of bounds by Stevens, but Coshocton will have possession. 34 seconds to play here in the opening half, 27-20. New Lex by seven. Conkle, right wing. Gives it out front to Lopper. Now left side it goes to, uh, to um, Jennings. Zach Jennings will set it up with 14 seconds to play here in the first half. 10 seconds now. Now, now they go with seven. Jennings stumbles. Gives it out to Lopper. Long triple. That's going to be way off, and that's going to be the end of the first half. So after one half of basketball, it's New Lexington by seven over Coshocton, 27 to 20. We'll be back with a halftime report. This is high school basketball on WTNS Coshocton. Coshocton Regional Medical Center is committed to prioritizing the safety of our patients. That promise of better care is reflected in our achievement of a LeapFrog Hospital Safety Grade A for safety excellence and a top 10% ranking for patient safety in the nation from health grades two years in a row. We strive to be the gold standard of care and have demonstrated that pledge to every patient with our commitment to patient safety. Coshocton Regional Medical Center, where care matters most. The Fisher Funeral Home in Warsaw is proud to sponsor this event as we support the families and individuals that have trusted us with their business through our four generations of service to the community. As the oldest family owned and operated funeral home in Coshocton County, we understand the importance of supporting our youth and fostering pride in our community. Please call us anytime at 740-824-3515 for any of your pre-need or at-need funeral counseling needs. You can also visit our website at fisherfuneralhome.com. The Fisher Funeral Home, serving others as we would like to be served since 1937. Claxon Custom Printing and Promotions is a proud supporter of high school athletics. Contact Casey Claxon or Judd Bone at ClaxonPrinting.com for printed t-shirts, embroidery, and branded promotional products for your booster club or business. We can also help your team set up an online fundraising store to sell your team apparel to fans across the country. Visit ClaxonPrinting.com or call 740-623-2145. In the nation, we know how it feels when a company doesn't treat you like a priority. You feel small. Or worst of all, like you're just a voice and a crowd. At Nationwide, we put members first. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. To join the nation, call Scott Boyer in Coshocton today at 740-622-2131. Subject to underwriting guidelines, review, and approval. Availability and details vary. Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company and Affiliates, Columbus, Ohio. Do you need health care without the wait? Muskingum Valley Health Center's Urgent Care is now open to serve all residents in Coshocton and surrounding counties. From feeling under the weather to a sprained ankle, MVHC Urgent Care is here for all of your urgent health care needs. Simply walk in and be seen seven days a week at the new MVHC Urgent Care located at 235 Kenwood Drive in Coshocton, directly across from Jeff Drennan Ford. MVHC Urgent Care, health care without the wait. This is Jay Shepler, General Sales Manager at Jeff Drennan Ford. Our pre-owned inventory is filling up the lot, so it's time for a used car blowout sale. Whether you need a four-wheel drive for the winter months, a bigger SUV for the family, or it's time to upgrade your diesel truck, now's the time to stop by Jeff Drennan Ford for big savings on all of our pre-owned inventory. Mention you heard this ad on the radio and get an extra $1,000 for trade-in now through the end of the month, only at Jeff Drennan Ford, 801 South 2nd Street in Coshocton. It's halftime, and New Lexington's out in front of Coshocton by a score of 27 to 20. In the JV game, Coshocton defeated New Lexington by a score of 34 to 32. New Lexington got off to a quick start and jumped out, scored the first nine points of the ball game, and led at the end of the first period, 19 to 10. Coshocton cut into it a bit, and uh, at halftime, it's 27 to 20. Taking a look at individual scoring first for New Lexington. They're led in scoring by their leading scorer, Lucas Ratliff. Ratliff had 11 points. He had three triples and one two ball for his total of 11. 
Ryan Hobbs hit two triples for six points. Also getting on the board was Bentley Hansen. He had a three for three points. And Isaac Dick hit a three for three points. Isaiah Stevens, a pair of free throws. That's the 27 points for New Lexington. For Coshocton, they had two players with six points. Abe Jarvis had six on a three-pointer and a field goal and a free throw. Zach Jennings has three two-point field goals for six points. Rounding out the scoring, Hudson Wesney had three points, Alec Lopper three, and Colton Conquo a basket for two. That is the Redskin total of 20. Now with the first half team numbers, here's Chris Wallace. Thank you very much, Coos. As you mentioned, New Lex on top of Coshocton, 27 to 20 at the half. Three-point land, New Lexington, seven of 11 for 63%. Coshocton, two of nine for 22%. Two-point field goals, New Lexington was 2 of 11 for 18%. Coshocton was 6 of 14 for 42%. From the free throw line, both teams are 100%, 2 of 2. And rebounding, New Lex has 14 rebounds, Coshocton with 13. In the turnover department, New Lexington with 3, Coshocton with 4. Well, quickly just looking at it, the key right there is in that three-point shooting. Uh, Coshocton 2 of 9, and uh, New Lex a red hot 7 of 11. Absolutely. Uh, New Lex shooting up very well from beyond the arc. Uh, Coshocton not so much, but then you take a little vice versa there on the two-point field goals. New Lexington only 2 of 11 on two-point field goals. Missed a lot of layups there, a lot of contested layups. Uh, Coshocton kind of in their face a little bit. Uh, Coshocton shooting 42% two-point field goals. Uh, one thing I want to highlight is rebounds. I know I've said this twice already, but when your freshman point guard's out there uh, leading both teams in rebounding, you know, he's got uh, seven rebounds in the game, three of those coming on the offensive end. Uh, you know, seven rebounds in the first half is extremely well and uh, look forward to seeing what he can do here in the second half. But, you know, I haven't really seen a whole lot of full court pressure, so I wonder if that's an adjustment we'll see at halftime. Well, you know, exactly. I mean, you know, the, the, what they try to do here in the second half uh, to change things up a little bit, uh, they, they're going to have to guard the perimeter. But, yeah, like you mentioned, uh, and I felt the same way, um, New Lex missed some shots in, in the paint area that were a little bit contested, but also missed a couple wide open. Coshocton really hasn't looked a, a, a ton at the three ball, but uh, they've had some opportunities in that two-point area. I noticed Colton Conkle, I, 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 actually the coaches uh, uh, pulled him over and said, you know, he was, be, he was able to penetrate into that lane area. He just didn't take the shot, and I think they want him to continue to do that. I think so. You know, shoots an excellent percentage and uh, it's a you know, does things very smart, and that's, uh, you know, an asset to uh, to Coshocton there. And, you know, he does a, a great job driving to the basket. Then he kind of looks to pass first. You know, I don't know if a lot of it comes from maybe his, his size or, or lack of experience being a freshman out there. But, you know, those things will come. But absolutely, you know, I'd put my faith in having Colton Conkle shoot the ball a little bit more and, and uh, Coshocton shooting the ball from beyond the arc a little bit more here in the second half. I'd look again for a full court pressure, see if they can pressure those guards of New Lexington and, and see what kind of changes they can mix up there in the second half. It's halftime. New Lexington leads by 7, 27-20. We'll be back with the second half. This is high school basketball on WTNS, Coshocton. Advanced Spinal Care and Rehabilitation of Coshocton provides personalized health care that makes a difference. If you've been suffering from neck or back pain, chiropractic care is a non-invasive treatment that can help you feel better. Advanced Spinal Care and Rehabilitation is proud to provide patients with advanced physical medicine. This type of rehabilitation is focused on enhancing and restoring the functional abilities of those suffering from physical impairments. To schedule your appointment, call Advanced Spinal Care and Rehabilitation at 291-8100 or stop by 112 Chestnut Street in Coshocton. At Village Motors, we take great pride in our product, and we have two new models in stock that we're very excited about. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and the full-size Ford Bronco has finally arrived. It is built Ford tough, and it just screams Bronco when you look at it. The Jeep Wrangler will now have a great competitor for years to come. It is the real deal, and you need to see it and drive it for yourself. Also, the Grand Cherokee Extended Length L model has arrived. The first third seat option for the Grand Cherokee, it combines luxury and off-road capability with the ability to carry seven passengers. Stop out soon to see the Bronco and the Grand Cherokee L at Village Motors in Millersburg. 
To stay as warm as possible, you add an extra layer. It's the same when it comes to your windows. MRV Siding Supply has Provia triple pane windows, providing an extra layer of insulation. MRV Siding Supply also has Provia Signet fiberglass doors with a foam-filled solid core Energy Star rated. MRV Siding Supply, Millersburg, Newark, and Pittsburgh, PA. Call 800-524-7436. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys. MRV Siding Supply. Art Saylor here from Saylor Wealth Strategies. Most people assume they need a large amount of wealth to hire a financial advisor. Not true. I think outside the box to customize a plan for the individual. I also educate my clients along the way about how and why a plan can help and work for them. The key is to have a plan. If you'd like more information or to schedule a free consultation, call Sailor Wealth Strategies at 740-575-4782. We're here to help you achieve your financial goals. Securities offered through registered representatives of Cambridge Investment Research Incorporated, a broker-dealer member FINRA SIPC. Advisory services offered through Cambridge Investment Research Advisors Incorporated, a registered investment advisor. Sailor Wealth Strategies LLC and Cambridge are not affiliated. Start spring by beating the rush and stopping in to Jeff Drennan Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. This is General Sales Manager Craig Abner. We just received the hardest to find low mile vehicles between seventeen and twenty three thousand dollars. From SUVs to sedans, we have them all in your price range, and they won't last long. We have the most desirable vehicles all in one location. So stop in for a good buy before interest rates increase. Also, if you have a vehicle with under 100,000 miles and are thinking about selling it, bring it down. Let us buy it. Visit us online for your next vehicle at Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Coshocton.com. All right, we're ready to get underway here at Coshocton. 27-20, New Lexington with the halftime lead, and Coshocton will have it as we resume play, and Zach Jennings has it, and we're ready to go. Jennings has the basketball high out near the timeline. Goes left side to Lonsbury. Lonsbury looking for cutters. Now out front it goes to Jarvis. Jarvis dribbles to the right wing. Back out front to Lonsbury, penetrates all the way to the basket, puts the shot up, and draws the two-shot foul on Hobbs. Nice take by Lonsbury, saw the lane and just took it all the way from the three-point line all the way to the rim and drew the contact. Lonsbury scoreless in the first half and right off the bat takes it to the hoop and tries to get something going from the free throw line. First free throw drops right through. Lonsbury second, a good as well, so he hits a pair. 27-22, Stevens across the timeline, now penetrates, picks up his dribble to Hobbs, hobbles all the way out front to Isaac Dick, Dick with the basketball over to Hobbs, Hobbs spins, tries to get inside, cut off, gets it to Stevens, out front to Ratliff. With the basketball, Isaac Dick, now he dumps it over to Hobbs, Hobbs back out front to Isaac Dick. Dick penetrates, gives it over to Hobbs. Hobbs goes out front to Ratliff. Ratliff off the dribble, now dumps it down low to Kellogg. Kellogg guarded by Jarvis, gets it down low to Dick. He's in trouble, now works with that, tries to force one up on the rim, no good. Rebound comes down to Conkle. Colton Conkle quickly the other way to Lopper. Lopper to Conkle, tries to penetrate, picks up his dribble. Now backs it out to Lonsbury. Lonsbury dribbles, little spin move, tries to penetrate, loses it. Now picks it up in trouble, but gets it out to Zach Jennings. Jennings penetrates inside, picks it up, has a little floater and missed the shot. Ball's batted around. Somebody's going to be over the back, I believe. And foul's going to be on Zach Jennings. Had the shot he wanted, just didn't get down. 6.25 and a third, 27-22. New Lexington, five-point lead. Isaiah Stevens across the timeline. Goes left side to Hobbs. Hobbs goes out front to Kellogg. He's going to let a triple go from deep. Back iron it no good. It goes out of bounds to Kishokton. Kishokton inbounds the basketball to... Zach Jennings. Jennings walks it across the timeline. 
Hands it to Lonsberry. Lonsberry dribbles towards the right side. Dumps it down low to Jennings. Little up fake. Skip pass out in the corner. Wide open Jarvis. He gets the triple. Nice pass from Jennings to Jarvis. And it's now 27-25. Stevens all the way. Now they give it to Kellogg. He powers inside. Gives it to Hobbs. Back to Kellogg. Kellogg gives it to Stevens. He's the lefty. He's going to let a three ball go. It's going to be short, but Kellogg rebounds it to Dick. Isaac Dick drives in and is fouled. And he'll go at the line to shoot two. 27-25, 5-27 to play here in the third. Kashokton with the first five points here of the quarter. Isaac Dick's first time to the free throw line tonight. So he'll shoot a pair. His first throw is right through. He has four points in the ball game. Second throw on the way. It's good as well. So 29-25, four-point lead. Shocked and quick the other way with Jennings. Jennings picks it up, goes to Lopper. Lopper thought about it. Now dribbles across, crosses over, and goes back to the left wing to Jennings. Jennings will reset as he walks it out top of the key, works towards the right wing. Now backs it back out near the timeline. 29-25. New Lex by four. Jennings works to the left side. Still dribbling the basketball as they try to get into some kind of an offense here. Now they reset. Jennings penetrates, dumps it to Jarvis. Jarvis off the dribble, right side to Lopper. Lopper penetrates, picks it up. Now goes left side to Lonsbury, goes inside. A little move, reverse layup, and oh, they're going to call him for traveling. So turnover Kashokton will be their fifth. And New Lex will have it. Seeing a little full court pressure out of the Redskins. And Stevens beats it easily and lost it and gets it out of the wrong guy, Ratliff. He missed it this time. But Hobbs rebounds wide open, Stevens, and he puts it home. So bad possession that time by the Redskins as New Lex comes up with it to Lopper. Penetrates inside, lose a floater up and in. Alec Lopper with a hoop. He has five points, 31-27. New Lexington by four, 4.08 to play here in the third. Stevens takes it all the way inside, gives it up to Hobbs all the way back out front. Three ball on the way, and right through is Hunter Kellogg. And they continue their fine three-point shooting. Jennings to Lopper to Jennings. Into the corner goes to Jarvis. Jarvis crosses over, gets it down low. And working the perimeter is Lopper, and he buries a triple from deep. So Alec Lopper with his second three of the night has eight points. It's now 34-30. 3.34 to go. Stevens takes it inside. They dump it down to Dick. He missed the shot. Jennings rebounds. Kashokton comes through, breaks through. They have numbers. Jennings takes it all the way in. He's going to be called for an offensive foul. He was totally out of control that time. Turnover number six for Kashokton. And it'll be New Lexington basketball. So Radliff will trigger in 3.23 to play here in the third, 34-30, New Lexington by four. And now we've got. Yeah, they got saw the blood on Jennings. Oh, he's really bleeding. So now they had to call timeout. Oh, you're right, he is. I saw him trying to trying to wipe it on his <laughs> spandex there, trying to be discreet about it going down the court. Nobody saw him, but uh, it was only a matter of time. So in front of us, New Lexington trigger in. They get it to Stevens. Stevens guarded by Conkle. Dribbles to the left wing. Backdoor cut and missing the shots going to be... Bentley Hansen who checked in, but fouled from behind by number 23, and that is Alec Lopper. His second, and that will send Hansen to the line to shoot a pair. Little backdoor cut, got it to good position, but his free throw is short, no good. First time to the line tonight. I think that's our first miss, isn't it? It is. 
So Hanson at the line, back in, and that one's good. He has four points in the game, five-point lead, 35-30. Conkle now goes to Lonsberry to Wesney. Wesney dribbles to the left wing. Out front it goes to Lonsberry. Lonsberry off the dribble, takes it hard, and he's going to be bumped and fouled. Foul on number 20, that would be Bentley Hansen. Team second, his first, and it'll be Coshocton basketball on the baseline. Jennings in. Wesney out. Braglin in. Hobbs out for New Lexington. Trying to get it in, they do to Lopper out front, working the perimeter down to Jennings, down to Jarvis. Jarvis. Looking inside, almost threw it away, did throw it away. Turnover and comes up to Hanson. Hanson penetrates, may have gotten away with a walk. Get, got it out front to Ratliff. Ratliff puts it under his arm, 2.35 to play in the third, 35-30. New Lacks for the lead. Stevens tries to get baseline, throws it into the corner. Hanson penetrates, dumps it out front. Kellogg trying to power inside and it's cut off to Ratliff. Bradliff looking for cutters, now steps back, now off the dribble, little spin move, and they're going to call Lonsbury for a hand check. And it'll be New Lexington ball on the far sideline. Fifth, fifth team foul. Lonsbury's first. 2.16 to play here in the third, 35-30. Out front with the basketball, Kellogg to Ratliff. Ratliff picks it up, dumps it into the corner. Back out front, into the corner. Stevens lets a three ball go. Back iron, no good. Conkle has it, and he's going to be fouled by Stevens. So the ball will be Coshocton basketball on the far sideline. Well, now they're changing it. That's going to be on the baseline. But be that as it may, Coshocton has it with 2.01 to play in the third. Down five, 35-30. Jennings, right side. Now backs it out near the timeline. Left side to Lonsberry, off the dribble, trying to get downhill. Now to Conkle, he takes a three ball from the wing. Back iron, no good. Rebound comes down to number zero, Braglin. Hands it to Ratliff, down into the corner to Hanson. And he get there, we have a timeout. Let's see what it is. Be a 30 second, we'll keep it right here. That we will. Advanced Spinal Care and Rehabilitation is now accepting new patients. They specialize in sports medicine as well as joint, low back, and neck pain. They believe in an integrated approach through massage, chiropractic, nutrition, and state-of-the-art therapies to achieve one goal, for their patients to regain their health as quickly and responsibly as possible. The Warehouse Stakenstein is proud to sponsor tonight's Player of the Game. Tonight's Player of the Game receive a gift certificate for a famous Warehouse cheeseburger and order their legendary onion rings. This is courtesy of Warehouse Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. Shocked them with a good start to the quarter, but has kind of fallen off a little bit and still a five-point lead for New Lexington. Yeah, definitely started the quarter off very strong there. Offense uh, looking good there and doing some full-court pressing, and then things just kind of kind of unfolding a little bit here. So New Lex will trigger in all the way into the backcourt. It goes, and Ratliff runs it down, and he'll hand it off to Isaiah Stevens. He'll get it across the timeline, guarded by Conkle, crosses over, now double teams. Now he picks it up in trouble, goes down low, laying it up and in is going to be Hunter Kellogg. Nice backdoor cut, got the basket. He has seven, and Jennings heads the other way. He's going to be bumped and fouled by Hanson. 37-30. Seven-point lead. Team foul number four, second. Foul on Hanson. They get it into Lopper. Now to Jennings. There's Jarvis. Jarvis looking. Dumps it down low to Lopper. Lopper, a little fade away off the glass and in. Alec Lopper, good quarter. Has seven and a quarter, ten in the game. First man in double figures for the Redskins, 37-32. Ratliff out front. Now tries to get inside, picks it up, and they're going to try another triple from way down and hits it again. They shoot that three ball. Kellogg with a triple, his second in the quarter, 40-32, an eight-point lead. 
Jarvis with the basketball. Picks up his dribble, dumps it to Conkle. Conkle penetrates in tight, a little spin move, puts it on the rim and in. Colton Conkle with four points now, 40-34, 30 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Right wing to Ratliff. Ratliff dribbles out near the timeline. Still dribbling, clock down to 17 seconds. Lonsberry now waiting to see when they want to go. Now left side it goes, picks up the dribble to Stevens. Six seconds, Stevens off the dribble, trying to penetrate, and Conkle's going to get called for a hand check. And 16 foul, but 4.5 seconds. It'll be on the sideline close to the bench of New Lexington. Six-point lead at 40 to 34. Conkle will sit down with his second foul. We get it into Ratliff. Ratliff dribbles, dribbles with one second from way downtown, in and out, and no good, almost halfway down. We've played three. The score is New Lexington 40, Coshocton 34. We'll be back for period number four. This is high school basketball in WTNS, Coshocton. Shopaholics and people who hate shopping have one thing in common. Neither likes to shop for insurance. At Grange Insurance, we get that. That's why we recommend buying through independent agents. Let Alberts and Lawrence do the shopping for you. They will look at a variety of insurance companies and recommend only the best ones. Companies like Grange, who offer great value and exceptional claim service. Call Alberts and Lawrence today at 740-622-0572. Products not available in all states. The Shockton Regional Medical Center is committed to prioritizing the safety of our patients. That promise of better care is reflected in our achievement of a LeapFrog Hospital Safety Grade A for safety excellence and a top 10% ranking for patient safety in the nation from health grades two years in a row. We strive to be the gold standard of care and have demonstrated that pledge to every patient with our commitment to patient safety. Coshocton Regional Medical Center, where care matters most. 30, or 40-34, New Lexington with the lead and the basketball as we get ready to start period number four. Where else Stakenstein is proud to sponsor tonight's player of the game. Tonight's player of the game receive a gift certificate for a famous Where else cheeseburger and order their legendary onion rings. This is courtesy of Where else Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. With a basketball on the right wing is going to be Braglin. Braglin hands it to Stevens, guarded by Conkle. Hands it to Hanson, high lob pass to Ratliff and just lays it in. Just nice back door cut. Ratliff gets his first basket since the first half. Now down eight, Jarvis off the dribble, works out front, hands it to Conkle. Conkle thought about it, now penetrates, a little spin move. He's going to be bumped and fouled. And 42-34 score, team foul number five, and it'll be third foul on Stevens, because Shockton will have it on the baseline. Getting back Isaac Dick, and Stevens will take a break. Hobbs getting back, and Braglin will take a break. Dump it inside to Lopper, and he gets the basket. Nice lob pass from Alec Lopper with 12 points. 42-36. Ratliff, Hobbs to Ratliff. Ratliff off the dribble, now tries to get baseline, dumps it down to Kellogg. Kellogg trying to power inside, skips it back out to Hobbs. Now it goes to Dick, back to Hobbs. Hobbs thought about going inside and lost control. Ball's on the deck, comes up, and Okay, what Zach Jennings got a timeout when he came up with the steal, so turnover for New Lexington. So it'll be a 30-second timeout, and we'll stay right here. When your vehicle is in an accident and needs towed, you do have a choice. It's your vehicle, your choice. Think Brill Hearts Body Shop. They will give you the quality, attention to detail, and satisfaction you deserve when getting your vehicle fixed. Give Brill Hearts Body Shop a call at 740-622-0121 or stop by 622 Main Street in Coshocton. Where else Stakenstein is proud to sponsor tonight's player of the game. Tonight's player of the game will receive a gift certificate for a famous Warehouse cheeseburger and order their legendary onion rings. This is courtesy of Warehouse Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. Heads up play by Jennings, so Coshocton with a basketball. Yeah, very nice play by Jennings. Uh, really didn't see the ball there very quickly, but got on the deck and 
kind of got right on top of it, tried to pass it, but they got the timeout just before he got rid of the ball. So Coshocton has the ball, down six, 7.05 to play here in the ball game. Colton Conkle has it out front. He's running the offense, hands it to Jennings. Zach Jennings has that hand uh, taped up. A little runner on the rim, back iron it, no good, but Con I run it down by Lonsberry. Lonsberry to Lopper, back out to Jennings. Jennings with a basketball, left side to Jarvis. Jarvis gives the ball to Lonsbury. Lonsbury stops, hesitates, dumps it into the corner. Jarvis steps back for three, buries it. Abe Jarvis with 12 points as he hits another three ball, and it's now 42-39 because Shockton's cut it to three with a basketball. And ball stolen by Conkle. Conkle coming down against Sutton. Oh, reverse left, missed it. Rebound Jarvis. He dribbles back out, gives it to Jennings for three. Short, no good. Rebound Ratliff, and he's coming in a hurry. So Coshocton with an opportunity, didn't get it to get it to go. Ratliff off the dribble, goes all the way to the hoop and scores it. Ratliff, good ball player, no question about it. He has uh, 15 now, quickly the other way, 44-39. Lonsbury in the little runner, missed the shot, and rebound comes down to Isaac Dick for New Lexington. So two empty possessions by Coshocton, and New Lex has it with a five-point lead. Ratliff takes it all the way inside. A little fade away is going to be short. No good. Conkle rebounds, and he comes. He'll have to reset. Nobody with him. Gets it out front to Lopper. Lopper thought about it. Now dribbles inside. Reverse to Jarvis. Jarvis steps back. Let's a three ball go. That's no good. Ball on the deck. Comes up to Jennings. Jennings is fouled from behind, and he'll go at the line to shoot two. Okay. Good possession there of a right place, right time for Jennings. Just got the nice rebound right there. So Jennings will go at the line to shoot two. 44-39, 5-24 to play in the basketball game. Zach Jennings, first throw, back iron no good. It's Jennings' first time to the free throw line tonight. Six points in the ball game. Scoreless here in the second half. That free throw is right through. So Jennings now with seven points. 44-40. New Lex by four. Isaac Dick across the timeline. Takes it all the way inside. Forces it up and missed it badly. Got his own rebound. He's going to be fouled from behind. So he just took it one-on-one. -on -one, forced the action. Got, missed the shot. Got his rebound. And... Picking up the personal foul will be Jennings, his third, and it'll be Isaac Dick at the line. I believe two of two. First throw on the way, good. They shoot their free throws well. He has six points, 45-40, five-point lead. Isaac Dick toes the line. Second throw, good as well. 46-40, six-point lead. Here comes Jennings. Left side, almost threw it away. Lopper runs it down. Has the basketball right wing to Conkle. Conkle off the dribble, penetrates. Now dumps it inside to Lonsbury, lays it in. Nice uh, give and go. And Jacob Lonsbury with a basket. He has four points. It's now 46-42. Kishokton needing a stop. Isaac Dick has it, goes into the corner. Ratliff off the dribble, dumps it down low to Kellogg. Go, go. Kellogg trying to power inside, skip pass into the corner. Wide open three ball, back iron no good. Rebound Jennings. Jennings coming behind his back to the left wing. And they'll reset the offense. It goes to Lopper. Lopper picks up his dribble, now in trouble, but gets all out to Jarvis, and they'll reset. 46-42, 420 to play in the ball game. With a basketball, Conkle. To Jarvis on the right, foul line extended, dumps it to Lopper. Lopper, a little fade away, got it again. Alec Lopper with another basket, has 14 points. We're back to a two-point game at 46-44. Isaac Dick beats Conkle, penetrates, skips it out to Ratliff. Ratliff has the basketball, under four to play. In trouble, picks it up, now gives it over to Kellogg. Kellogg into the right corner to Isaac Dick. Now dumps it to Kellogg, ball deflected and stolen away by Conkle. Conkle behind his back. Under, get, lost it and turns it over. Didn't get under control. And the ball is number, turnover number eight for New Lex. There's a whistle and New Lex wants a timeout. And 
And this will be a full timeout, so we'll break away and be back. This is high school basketball on WTNS, Kishokton. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Kashokton Materials offers ready mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Located on County Road 621 in Kashokton, call today for prices and delivery options at 740 722 9015. That's 740 722 9015. Forty six forty four, three thirty eight to play. New Lexington by two. Looking forward to this last three minutes and thirty eight seconds. When buying or selling real estate, you want an agent you can trust. Find that agent and Carla Norris from the H E R Realtors Kashokton office. Carla makes home buying a hassle free process for her clients. Call Carla Norris at seven four zero five zero two one eight eight one. 338 to play. Forty six forty four New Lexington basketball. Kishokton has never led in this game. With a basketball, Isaac Dick down the left side, hands it to Kellogg out front. Now he goes to Hobbs. Hobbs looking, looking. Now goes left side to Dick. Isaac Dick penetrates all the way to the rim. A little scoop shot and good. Isaac Dick with a basket. He now has nine points. Kishokton now down by four. Colton Conkle penetrates. Picks up his dribble out to Lopper. Lopper. Still dribbling, now backs it out and gives the ball to, Con to uh, Conkle. Conkle holds it, goes foul line extended to Jarvis. Jarvis looking, hands the basketball off, no right side. Conkle's going to let a three ball go, back iron no good. Lopper with a rebound, gets it over to, to um, Jennings. He penetrates all the way to the basket, little run, oh, missed it. But he gets his own rebound, skips it back out to Lonsberry. So Kishokton with another possession, 2.39 to play, 48-44 with the basketball, Jennings. Jennings penetrates all the way in, skips it out to Jarvis. Jarvis backs it out. Still dribbling, gives it to Con Conkle. Conkle penetrates inside, skip pass wide open, Lopper, three ball from the wing. That time it's short, and then Hobbs rebounds it. Hobbs picks up and goes across to... Isaac Dick back to Ratliff. 2.12 to play in the ballgame. All the way down the court it goes to Kellogg. Kellogg back out front. Ball's tipped away. And Lonsbury's going to have a breakaway layup, and he scores it. Lonsbury gets the basket. He now has six. It's now 48-46. Kashokton calls a quick timeout. And be a full timeout, so we'll break away and be back. This is high school basketball in WTNS. Kashokton. Pearl Valley Cheese would like to announce their new winter hours. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturday, 9 to 4, and closed on Sundays. Tours are still available, but only by appointment. So call 740-545-6002. At Pearl Valley Cheese, they've been making quality cheese since 1928, including their award-winning Swiss cheese, along with Colby, Marble, Pepper Jack, Farmers, Jumping Jack, and Lacey Baby Swiss. For the best cheese, Visit Pearl Valley Cheese, located on State Route 93 in Pearl. 2.03 to play in a basketball game. New Lexington clinging to a 48-46 lead. Yep, uh, looking, you know, two-point lead. Kashokton doing a great job there, uh, you know, getting that last basket, bringing it back to two. And, you know, you said something earlier about how Kashokton had never led the ball game, and you got to thinking that, you know, started off – Fairly poor at the, at the beginning there, and, and uh, New Lex took a real big lead, and Kishokton never, they've been close, but they've never just been there to push it over the edge here. With two minutes and three seconds left, down by two, they've got some time to do something here. You know, the one thing about it, at least at, 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 to this point, I believe right now that New Lex has only missed one free throw, so they've shot their free throws well. And uh, next free throw for everybody, they're going to be in the bonus. So we're underway, and New Lex has it. Two minutes to play. Isaiah Stevens across the timeline, guarded by Conco, goes left wing to Hobbs. Hobbs double teamed out near the time, throws a pass all the way down. It goes, oh, wide open is going to be Isaac Dick, and he laid it in. The defense went with two different guys, and Isaac Dick lays it in. He has 11 points into double figures. Now a four point lead at 50 46. Conco out front with the basketball is Jarvis. 
Jarvis with a basketball off the dribble, looking for Jennings, has it almost, and he throws it away and turns over to Stevens. So turn a big turnover for Kashokton, dump it into the corner. Hobbs tries to go baseline, skips it out. Now they're going to run clock with 1.20 to go in the basketball game. Four-point lead for New Lexington, 50-46. Ratliff with a basketball. And New Lex wants a timeout. And they get it. Full timeout, so we'll break away and be back. This is high school basketball on WTNS to Shockton. This is Jay Shepler, General Sales Manager at Jeff Drennan Ford. At Jeff Drennan Ford, we have the area's largest selection of pre-owned vehicles, including trucks. Our large inventory means you don't have to go out of town to find the vehicle you want. From expeditions and suburbans to fit the entire family to diesel trucks, Broncos, and fuel-efficient cars. We have the selection to help you find the perfect vehicle. Check out our inventory online at jeffdrennanford.com or shop locally at Jeff Drennan Ford, 801 South 2nd Street in Coshocton. 50-46, 1-11 to play. New Lex with the lead and the basketball. It's going to be tough sledding for the Redskins. Going to have to foul at this stage. Certainly is, and, uh, you know, we talked about it the last break there. New Lexington only missing one free throw in the ball game, so uh, not exactly. You can't really find anybody you want to send to the free throw line exactly, but you have to foul and, and hope that they miss a few free throws, and hopefully you can get some uh, some possessions going the other way. Yeah, for New Lexington, it is a two-possession game, so uh, and they have shot their free throws well. I, I would say for definitely for sure you do not want Ratliff to have the basketball or, or let him be at the free throw line. Absolutely. Well, they're now ready to trigger in. Still haven't got it in, and it's a five-second. Well, they're going to say they got the timeout. He said five, but they, uh, yeah. they didn't give it to him. The so. official said five seconds. So they, just, they did get the timeout. They're now out of timeout. So with 111 to play, we'll break away and be back. This is high school basketball in WTNS, Coshocton. Domino's now has a new deal to help feed your entire family. Take advantage of two large, two-topping pizzas for only $10.99 each. Carry out or delivery. That's two large pizzas with two toppings each delivered to your door for only $10.99 each. Give us a call today in Coshocton at 622-9345 or in Newcomerstown at 498-4131 and get two large, two-topping pizzas for $10.99 each, only at Domino's. One eleven to play, 50-46, and New Lexington uh, used their last time out, so they can't stop it. Again, Coshocton still with two timeouts. So Kellogg will trigger in. They get it into the backcourt to Isaac Dick. Dick across the timeline, picks up the dribble, almost stolen away. Stevens has it. And they need to try it. They're going to try a double team. They get it to Ratliff. Ratliff down in the corner to Hobbs, all the way out front to Isaac Dick, and he's going to be fouled by Lonsbury. So he'll shoot one and one with 56 seconds to play in the ball game. Still plenty of time, but they're going to have to miss free throws. Isaac Dick is four of four from the free throw line. He has six and a quarter, 11 in the game. His first throw is right through. 12 points in a basketball game. 51-46. 52-46. He knocks them both down. 13 points. Jarvis or Jennings quickly the other way to Jarvis. Jarvis hands it to Jennings. Jennings backs it out. 47 seconds to Lopper. Lopper thought about it. Penetrates all the way to the basket. Dumps it down low. And the ball stolen away. And it'll go over to New Lexington. Should have taken the shot and tried to pass it, did not. So Coshocton turns it over, number 10, I believe, in the ball game. And it's now going to be tough with only 39 seconds to go. And New Lex has the basketball game. And now they've just thrown out one of the f fans. <laughs> Getting his, trying to find his coat. <laughs> <laughs> find one of those Letterman's jackets out of the many there. And so with 39 seconds to go, it will be 
New Lexington ball. And New Lex gets it in. The ball stolen away by Jarvis. Back down, forces one up. No good. Rebound on the deck comes down to Jennings. Jennings, he lets one go from deep. He misses it. Ball batted around. And we've got a whistle. And let's see what it's going to be here. Kashokton with a steal. Turned over number seven. And a foul's going to be on, on Colton Conkle. And heading to the free throw line is going to be Ryan Hobbs. Hobbs has six points, hit the first two three-pointers of the game. Hasn't scored since, but he'll be at the line to shoot two. No, shoot the one-on-one, one, excuse me. Ninth team foul, foul, but only 25 seconds remain in this one. And it's now a three-possession game as Kellogg hits, or as um, Hobbs hits the free throw. He has seven in the ball game. 53-46. They shoot their free throws well. Eight-point lead with 22 seconds. Out front to Jarvis. Gives it to Jennings. He steps into a long triple. Front iron no good. Ball out of bounds to New Lexington. Eight-point lead, but only 15 seconds to play in this one. And Coshocton, once again, they've played a team's tough, but just have not been able to get over the hump yet. And they foul Stevens right away, so he'll go at the line to shoot two shots as that'll be put them in the double bonus. Stevens, two of two from the line tonight. Because Ockton will be in action again tomorrow night as they travel up to Indian Valley, and that'll be a tough game as well. Indian Valley, a nice ball club. First throw on the way once again, right through. Five points for Stevens. Nine point lead at 55-46. And rolls it in, 56-46, 10 point lead. Jennings dumps it out to Lopper. Lopper three ball, back iron, Conkle and Stevens. And we've got a tie up. Possession arrow favors Kashokton. So it'll be baseline for Coshocton, but only four seconds remain in this one. Jarvis will trigger in. Gets it to Lopper. Lopper out to Jennings. Down to one second. Jennings just lays it in at the buzzer, but that's going to do it as New Lexington has come into Coshocton and defeated the Redskins Terry Knight by a score of 56 to 48. We'll be back and tell you about it. This is high school basketball in WTNS, Coshocton. The McDonald's is food you buckle in with your seatbelt deal. And there's no reason not to take that extra precaution because a meal from McDonald's is not just a meal. It's often your most precious cargo. Now get a free sausage McMuffin with egg when you download the McDonald's mobile app. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Free sausage McMuffin with egg valid one time through 4-3-2022 at participating McDonald's. Download and registration required. If you own a farm, you know that a one-size-fits-all insurance policy isn't a smart way to do business. I'm John Ionello, your American National Insurance Agent in Coshocton, Homes and surrounding counties. American National can provide you with a flexible farm package that allows you to customize a policy to match your individual needs. Call me at 740 295 9460 because while you know your business, we know how to help insure it. This is Jamie from the Coshocton Coffee Connection. Did you know that we serve breakfast sandwiches all day, every day? Our made-to-order breakfast sandwiches include a fresh egg, melted cheese, and your choice of biscuit, bagel, croissant, or my favorite, onion flatbread. Nick's choose from sausage or locally purchased bacon. Enjoy that same bacon for lunch on our BLTs, grilled cheese, and turkey bacon clubs. Pair any of our sandwiches with a hot, made-fresh daily bowl of soup. Let us complete your order by making you a specialty coffee or tea. Stop by and see us at the Coshocton Coffee Connection. 
Given Dawson Paisley Funeral Home has been serving Coshocton area families for over 70 years. I am Jessica Paisley and we are honored that so many of you have chosen Given Dawson Paisley. Our membership in the Dignity Memorial Network allows us to offer services that no other funeral home can offer. Whether you are pre-planning or in your time of need, Given Dawson Paisley Funeral Home would be honored to serve your family now and in the future. All right, we're back at the Wigwam, and New Lexington comes in here and defeats Coshocton by a score of 56 to 48. That improves New Lexington to 11 and 6 on the season. Coshocton falls to 4 and 8 on the campaign. It started out, New Lexington got broke out in front quickly, scoring the first nine points of the ball game and led uh, at the end of the quarter, 19 to 10. Uh, Coshocton cut it to 27 to 20 in uh, after two quarters. Coshocton cut it another point in the third to 40 to 34, but New Lexington finished it off making their free throws and come out, get out of here with a win, 56 to 48. Taking a look at individual scoring in the game, first for New Lexington, they were led by their leading scorer, Lucas Ratliff. He finished with 15 points in the ballgame. He had three triples, three two, three two balls for his total of 15 points. Also in double figures, Isaac Dick, who had 13 points. He had one three-point field goal. He had two two-pointers and six free throws for his 13 points. Also in double figures, Hunter Kellogg had 10 points. And um, he had two three-pointers and a pair of field goals for his total of 10. Ryan Hobbs added eight. Isaiah Stevens added six. And Bentley Hansen had four. That's the 56-point total for New Lexington. For Coshocton, they were led by Alec Lopper. Lopper tonight with 14 points in the ballgame. He had two triples and four two-point field goals for his 14 points. Abe Jarvis had 12 points. He hit three three-pointers, a field goal, and a free throw for his 12. Zach Jennings just missed double figures. He had nine points in the ball game. Jacob Lonsberry contributed um, six points in the game. Colton Conkle, four points, and Hudson Wesney had three. That's the Redskin total of 48. Now with the final team numbers, here's Chris Wallace. Thank you very much, Coos. As you mentioned, New Lexington on top of Coshocton, 56 to 48. Three-point land, New Lexington, 9 of 19 for 47%. Coshocton, 5 of 19 for 26%. Two-point field goals, New Lexington, 8 of 20 for 40%. Coshocton was 15 of 28 for 53%. From the free throw line, New Lexington was 13 of 14 for 92%, while Coshocton was 5 of 6 for 83%. In the rebounding department, it was Coshocton out-rebounding New Lexington 26 to 22. And turnovers, New Lexington with 7, Coshocton with 10. You know, it's just tough to get back into a game. You know, when you're down, you get down early, big. Uh, one time it was, uh, you know, a 13-point lead. And, you know, Coshocton battled back but just never could get over the hump. Couldn't get that one stop they needed to get to get that ball game tied up and, that, and let things see where it might happen, what, get, what, what might happen from there. Yeah, I think you're exactly right. When you uh, start off down, you know, I think it was either 11-0 or 13-0 there in the first quarter. That's a pretty tough deficit to bring it back from. And Coshocton did a good job in the first half, really brought it back and kind of kept things pretty close and did a great job in the third quarter there. But as that fourth quarter kind of went on, uh, the, the excellent shooting by New Lexington, you know, making nine three-pointers. And the, the thing that surprised me was they only made eight two-pointers point field goals in the ball game so they made more three pointers than they made two pointers which normally normally doesn't happen I guess unless you're John Glenn which we'll have them <laughs> tomorrow night and we'll we'll talk about that then but uh, you know Coshocton only getting to the free throw line six times shooting a great percentage 83 percent making five of six from the free throw line but you know New Lexington getting to the line 14 and making 13 of those really really kind of shows a little bit of a deficit there too but you know haven't done a Coshocton game in a while since the holiday classic and and uh, you know good to get back here at, at the wigwam and I think Coshocton needs to, to you know they had their hiatus as you talked about with uh, with their COVID and, and you know being off air for a couple weeks so kind of get back into a rhythm and maybe get things kind of moving here heading towards tournament time. All right, last order of business for us is going to be the Warehouse Stakenstein player of the game, and we're going to give that to Alec Lopper tonight. Lopper with his 14 points and a good, good all-around performance. So he'll be the recipient of a gift certificate good for a famous Warehouse cheeseburger and order their legendary onion rings, and once again, courtesy of Warehouse Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. Have a bunch of people to thank. Want to thank Casey Claxon, who finally decided to 
coming with us here this evening. Also, Lydia Brady sitting down there. I have Emma Merriman on the camera. I have Chris Wallace beside me, Trevor Griffith back at WTNS. I'm Steve Corey's. Once again, the final score, it's New Lexington, a winner over Coshocton by a score of 56-48. to Have a nice night, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this WTNS Sports Broadcast. Audio CDs of this broadcast are available by calling WTNS Radio at 740-622-1560. WTNS Kishatin. We are the sports voice of East Central Ohio.